The Morn Blade tore a fragment from Uther's soul. Without it, I fear he may never heal. I have I am seen ready a to vision you. of where such vessels are kept, but retrieving it will prove perilous. The jailer keeps Duty his treasures is well its own guarded. Kind of wisdom. Without a paragon of loyalty, we cannot forge a new sigil. Many How can I guide yet occupy you? the temple? How are we to proceed? Through compromise and understanding, I may be of aid in that regard. Learn from the past, but do not linger in it. I am the Archon's will. Stay true to if our my eternal soul charge. Can be mended, then so too can the rift with the Forsworn. Be warned, Uther. We have never attempted anything of this nature before. I will endure whatever I must to be whole again. Seek wisdom. Continue your journey. We will not let you fall, Uther. This is Alonso's Chapel. In Stratholm, the day I became the first of the Paladins. Come, Uther. Take your spot so that we may begin. In the light we gather. In its grace, our brother will be born anew. Uther, do you vow to uphold the tenets of the Holy Light? I do. What are these tenets? The three virtues. Uh, respect, tenacity, and then... And then... Compassion. Seeing beyond our differences. Understanding our similarities. 
feeling for those who suffer. Even if... Oh, Arthas. Wait. What is that? In the corner? This entire city must be purged. Oh! How can you even consider that? His memories are twisting together. We must help him. No, Clea. He must face this on his own. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. You are not my king yet, boy. Nor would I obey that command even if you were. Then I must consider this an act of treason. Treason? Have you lost your mind, Arthas? These memories, they are not one and the same. Do you vow to walk in the light and spread its wisdom? Hmm. Your grief and regret haunt you still, as does Arthas. Do you vow to vanquish evil and protect the weak and innocent? I... I do. Arise, Uther as a paladin of Lordaeron, first of the Order of the Silver Hand. You have questions. Remain humble. We are here for you, Uther. Do not despair. The Light. Arthas. What have I done? Feeling nervous, Arthas? This is the day Arthas became a paladin. I remember it well. Honestly, yes. I see your devotion to the light and feel doubt cloud my heart. You taught me so much, Uther, but I sometimes wonder if I'm truly meant to walk this path. Great expectations await you, lad. I have faith that you will exceed them all. But for now, let's spar. That should clear your mind. <laughs> it always does. There is much for me to consider. Your wound, does it still hurt? It does. Perhaps it always will. What is this place? This is the moment of your death, isn't it? He came for the urn. The one that held the ashes of the father he slew. Why this memory, Uther? Why linger here? In that moment, I failed him. I did not uphold the virtues. Compassion, least of all. My heart had never been so cold. I faced him, 
Not as a mentor, or even a friend, but as a bitter foe. Perhaps, but confronting this memory has taught you the value of compassion more than any scripture ever could. Take that lesson to heart, Uther. The past may be immutable, but the future has yet to be written. I will. Arthas, if only I had tried to save you. Face me, Uther, and I'll make sure you die quickly. There's a special place in hell waiting for you, Arthas. No! I spoke in anger. We may never know, Uther. I intend to live forever. By the Archon's grace. Uther, if these memories pain you so... You can be rid of them in time. No. Do you need they serve as a reminder of lessons learned? Given the choice, I go would never let them go. The Force One never sought if war. Given the choice. Our own brethren cast us out and refuse to listen. Address these? We I see that now. And I truly apologize. Uther has taught me much this day. Bastion must follow a new path. Nicolon, please accompany us. We must find a way to reunify our people. What troubles you? Proceed with All five paragons are needed for our covenant sigil to be reforged. Upon this day, we shall name a new paragon of loyalty. My Archon, loyalty bereft of compassion fractured the very heart of the Curian. Perhaps what we need is not loyalty, but devotion to our cause, to each other. And to the souls we usher into the Shadowlands. When Devos turned against us, I met her with spear in hand. There was truth in her words, but I did not listen. Let us learn from Uther's example. Henceforth, all Kyrian shall be offered a choice to keep their memories or to let them go. Adrestes, I anoint you, Paragon of Devotion. And Clea, you shall serve as his hand. Me? Forgive me, my Archon, but I... Your devotion to our sacred charge has never faltered. None are more deserving of this honor than you. Thank you. We go in service. You wish to be of service? Find your purity. Not only must we reclaim the temple, but we must implore the remaining Forsworn to join our cause. We shall have our support. I will gather my allies and meet you at Steward's Rest. Forsworn and Kyrian, standing side by side. This is only the beginning, Claire. A bright future awaits us all.
my weapon and my wings are yours. Join us at the Vesper when you are ready. Nicolon, I apologize for leading you off the path. Had I not, you might never have joined the Forsworn. My faith in the Archon had already faltered. You only helped me accept the truth. Nevertheless, you suffered greatly because of my actions. I will not allow that to happen again. So you've chosen to fight us! Your plight has been heard, your suffering recognized. We ask not for your loyalty, but we offer a choice. None shall be forced to sacrifice their memories. Your decision will be respected by all Kyrian. Allow me to show you the way. Our purpose is to serve. You are seen. Wisdom guide your path. Find your Uther and I shall aid Adrestes. The rest of you, stand strong. My fellow Kyrian, I come to you with a message of compassion. Your plight has been heard, your suffering recognized. We ask not for your loyalty, but we offer a choice. None shall be forced to sacrifice their memories. Your decision will be respected by all Kyrian. Let us stand united once more, not out of loyalty, but devotion. A new path for Bastion begins. You have questions. You have faced much. <laughs> State your purpose. I will be watching you, mortal. Archon's eyes upon you. still haunt me, hero. You 
speak to the Forge Light Prime, master of Bastion development. Greetings, my friend. Lift up those around you. How may I serve you? Keep a calm. I would have you speak. Go in service. The future of Bastion is in our hands. Many ages have passed since a paragon was last anointed. Longer still since we have christened a new temple. Today, we do both. Adrestes, step forward. Through trying times, you have embodied patience and compassion. Virtues that will serve you well. As Paragon of Devotion. Five Temples. Five Paragons. Take your place among us, Adrestes, as we reforge our covenants a symbol of our new path forward, one born of unity between Kyrie and Forsworn alike. Do you need a task? Wisdom guide your path. Luther, pardon my asking, but what fate befell Arthas in the end? At the moment of his death, Devos and I claimed his soul and cast it into the maw. Without the Arbiter's knowledge? So he might yet have had a chance at redemption? I will never know. It was not my choice to make. Devo slid me down a dark path. Now that I have seen the Maw for myself, I cannot say that any soul deserves such torment. Perhaps some can never be forgiven, but you have shown me that they must be treated with compassion. The hour of battle is upon us. Kiresia was ever the most unwavering of us all. The Archon's willingness to embrace a new path demonstrates her devotion to the Kyrian. I have called upon the Covenants to bear their sigils here to Corthia. The key to our victory lies within them. And in you, Mar Walker. <laughs> 